My man, Staff Malone here. Hey, what has 2023 learned you so far? Uh, what 2023 has learned me is that not all friends, our family, and not our family are real for you. And the real people that you're able to connect with, that's who you should be around. And it doesn't matter how long you know people through a connection. But right now, I am connected to Fish Poker. And I guarantee you this, there's only one thing you should be doing. I call. What's up, my beautiful sardines? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is coming at you guys from the Lucky Lady. Now, I haven't been there in such a freaking long time. That is actually the very first casino that we did a meetup game. If you haven't seen that video or you missed it, I'm going to put it right here. You guys go check it out. It's an old video, it's like two years old, but I haven't been back there since then, so I'm really excited. Today's video, today's video is gonna be from Cairo Meetup Game. The Cairo Meetup Game. This guy's a great person. He's a Live with the Bike commentator, and he does a whole bunch of poker stuff. Really cool guy. So go follow him if you haven't done so already. I'll leave all that information in the description below. And go on and follow me while you're at it. Like, subscribe. All that fun stuff and you know what let me shut up and let's get right into our poker we're gonna kick this party off with a couple of crabs under the gun like a true fish we're gonna limp in in our opponent in late position who claims has suckable toes makes it 12 bucks no you don't have to rewind this video you heard right my, my tattoo say these are suckable these are suckable. <laughs> these are suckable <laughs> say these are they said. Are your feet suckable oh, though? Of course. <laughs> anyway, she makes it 12 bucks. It folds all the way around in me and it seems like a great idea to call being out of position versus an aggressive player, right? I make the call and we're gonna go heads up to see a flop. Now the good news is that I flop a mother effing set. Hell freaking yeah. The bad news though is that they're all diamonds oh. and if there's one thing I know about diamonds is that they're a girl's best friend. So I decide to check and my opponent goes on and bets out a chunky bet of 24 bucks i'm definitely gonna exercise my right to check raise but to what amount i think a check raise to about 65 bucks would be ideal but the only problem with that is that if i do that and she calls i'm not even gonna have a half size pop bet left in the chamber if my toe sucking opponent has a good diamond then this is gonna get very expensive for her as i'm gonna shove for my remaining 100 bucks she quickly makes the fold and we are gonna take this putt down Hell freaking yeah. A female chugging contest. Oh They're gonna smell each other's hair right now. Wow. What you use? Shampoo? Mm -hmm. uh, she doesn't shower. Happy birthday to you, first of all. Thank, Thank you. you. Come on, Jenny, get her. Get her, Jenny. Get her, Jenny. Come on. Chug it. Rub it all over your body. Come on, birthday girl. Miss Suckable Toes. Come on. <laughs> Oh. Yeah! That's right. <laughs> now we're on the big blind looking down at Queen Jack suited. Carlos, who's under the gun, is a pretty loose aggressive player and decides to make it 20 bucks. The only caller is our toe sucking friend in lay position and once it folds around at me, I'm not gonna fold this. I'm pretty sure the more correct and professional move would be to three bet to something to the tune of about 80 bucks, but the only problem with that is that I only have 180 left behind. Being out of position versus two really aggressive and sticky opponents doesn't row my boat in the way that I like my boat to be rowed so I'm just gonna make the flat call and we're going three ways to a flop of 10 king ace hell freaking yeah we flopped the nuts of course I'm gonna check Carlos who was the original aggressor fires off a bet of 30 bucks to which our toe sucking opponent goes on and makes the call and what should I do here should I go on and raise right away nah not yet I have the nuts, I don't want to scare off my opponents. I mean, there isn't too many cards I'd be too concerned about on the turn, so I'm just gonna go on and make the call and we see a stupid action killing queen on the turn. Another flush draw came in, plus now I'm chopping with any jack. I should have gone with my gut and raised it on the flop, but that mentality is just me being completely result oriented. I'm first to act and I just can't risk this checking around. This is the last chance I'm gonna get value for many draws, so I'm gonna go all in for my remaining 100 121 dollars and my only caller is our toe sucking opponent we are now gonna go heads up to see a deuce of diamonds on the river we show her our nuts and we are good one two go come on man. <laughs> now we're on the cutoff looking down at ace five of diamonds 
It limps around and me and I make it 16 bucks. Cairo makes the call along with two other sardines and we're gonna go four ways to a flop of eight for Jack Rainbow. Early position player Donk leads out for a measly 10 bucks. There's two callers down the road and when it's action on me, I'm gonna make the call and I know this call is a bit on the loose side, especially cause I don't have anything but back doors, but I'm getting nine to one on this call. Maybe, just maybe, the poker gods will throw me a bone with an ace or a diamond on the turn and that's exactly what happens when we hit a queen of diamonds on the turn it checks all the way around to me and i'm gonna check this one back we are still going four ways to an eight of diamonds on the river cairo who's first to act wakes the f up and fires off a bet of 20 bucks middle position player makes the call and even though i don't like raising on paired boards i'm pretty sure i have the best hand here because if any of these two tilapias had two pairs or a set they wouldn't have just flatted the 10 bucks on the flop and most definitely wouldn't have checked the turn so i'm pretty confident that i have the best hand so i repop it to 65 bucks cairo folds but our opponent in middle position doesn't he makes the call we show our flush and we are good hell freaking yeah, yeah. The last, the last one to go <laughs> go law go, go oh. Law. We need a replay. The whole table has agreed to a $5 bomb pot every time there's a dealer change. So when this new dealer comes in, we do exactly that. Five bucks from each player goes into the pot and into the middle. And we're going eight ways to a flop of deuce three six with two diamonds. We look down at our hand and we just can't believe our eyeball sockets as we are holding four five for the absolute nuts. Hell freaking yum. And even better, our opponent in early position bets out 40 five bucks which is a chunky overbet of course i'm not tripping i mean i'm not but when it's action on me what do i do do i raise here i mean i'm not a big fan of raising an opponent when i'm holding the nuts because if they fold to my raise i'm gonna feel stupid i'm just gonna go on and make the call and it's music to my ears when the opponent to my left goes all in for 75 bucks our toe sucking friend goes all in as well for about 70 and when it's action to our opponent who let out on the flop he goes on and makes the call for the remaining 30 bucks and it's so freaking unfortunate that I can't repop him in this spot. So I'm just gonna have to be forced to make the call. We are now going heads up to an action killing four on the turn. It checks to me, but I'm gonna go all in for my remaining 200 bucks. I'm not sure if that was an over bet since there's a dry side pop, but I guess it doesn't matter since my opponent folded. The river's a non-diamond brick and I turned over my hand and we are good raking in a massive, awesome, juicy pot. Hell freaking yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm already faded. I'm, already <laughs> already. I'm making it excuses. Too. I'm making excuses. Yeah. I'm making excuses too. And cat pro hat versus left. Left. Let's go. Right. Let's go. All right. Ready? I'm ready. All right. Here we go. One, two, two, go. Lucky number eleven versus fish poker. Oh, it's close. It's close. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta rub that all over your body now. <laughs> now we're on the cutoff looking down at Ace Do suited. It folds all the way to me and I'm gonna bump it up to 10 bucks. The button calls, the small blind calls, the big blind also comes along for the ride and we're going four ways to a flop of four, four, eight with two spades. It checks to me and I'm gonna go on and put out a mandatory C bet of 15 bucks to which the big blind and the button call and we are going three ways to an ace on the turn. It checks to me and now that I've made top pair, I'm not gonna slow down now as I go on and put out a bet of 20 bucks and our opponent on the button seemed to have enjoyed that as he shoves for his remaining 65 bucks it's 45 more dollars to me but i dk if i can make the call here as my opponent's tail is wagging as much as mine does every time i drive by a taco stand he could very much just have a four here or did he just turn a flush only 45 more bucks to me but i just can't do it i show him my ace as it goes into the muck and he is nice enough to show me six three of spades nice hand sir Alright. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, go. Here we go. Why, why? 
What the fuck, brother? Oh my gosh, I'm. Yes. Oh my god. Rudy! <laughs> For this last hand of the night, we're under the gun looking down at pocket jiggities. Brad Owen, I, I, you know, I don't even know what to say here anymore. But anyway, I make it 16 bucks. There's two callers down the road. And when it gets back to the button, he three bets to 65 bucks. I immediately start to panic because if I make this call, I'm going to be out of position for the rest of this hand with my least favorite pocket pair, which we all know there's no right way to play them. I'm going to just flat. The opponent to my left makes the call as well. And when it gets to our toe sucking friend, she's going to four bet all in for her remaining 100 105 bucks. It's action back to the button and he does something that's a major key factor of how this hand's gonna play out for me. He announces a raise which he cannot do. Our toe sucking opponent's shove wasn't enough to reopen up the betting so the fact that he was willing to 5 bet is sending me mixed information about the strength of his hand. Did he know he wasn't allowed to raise me and he just said that to throw me off or is his hand really that good to 5 bet? Like a piece of kale I'm stuck in the freaking blood blender without knowing how to digest this information. Nonetheless, I make the call and we go four ways to a flop of eight deuce five. It checks to our opponent on the button who decides to fire off a bet of $120 into a dry side pot. And what do you call those cucumbers that are left in vinegar for a long time? They go on burgers. What do you call those? Pickles? Yes. Yes. That's what the fuck I'm in right now. A huge fucking pickle. I don't know what to do because all I can think about was that this opponent was willing to 5 bet pre-flop. My opponent has to have aces, kings, queens, or even ace king, right? I mean, his range is narrower than your dick and I just don't think I'm good here. We are both extremely deep with over 600 bucks in our stack and I've been grinding. I've been grinding this night out so long just to get to my current stack just to lose it with pocket jiggities? I don't think so, Tim. I'm gonna have to make the super disciplined fold. The other opponent in the hand folds as well, and the opponent on the button is going heads up versus our toe-sucking opponent, and he turns over ace-king. I'm gonna be result-oriented here and say that that was an extremely stupid fold, but if my opponent has ace-king here, he also has aces, right? He also has kings, and he also has queens, and yeah, it's all the same range, but of course it stings when you fold out the best hand, but just like Linkin Park, in the end, it doesn't even matter because the turn is a deuce and the river's a six, and our toe-sucking friend shows three, four for a river straight. Come on, send me my fucking money. Thank you very much. Oh, my Damn. God. Oh, my God. God. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Honestly? Yes. Hey, you folded Jackson. All right, 3.8 seconds head start. Hold on, wait. 3.8 seconds, right? Come on, Kai. Come on, Kai. Is this thing around the back? Oh. All right, one. And he's got a lot of foam on here. Three. One, two, two three. Point eight. Point eight. Point eight. Oh, 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 oh! oh. oh. No. We need three seconds. Did I win? No, he didn't. That's a All right, my beautiful sardines. That's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. What a fantastic time. Fucking Cairo meetup game. Hell yeah. What a Go follow this guy on Instagram and on all social media platforms. And yeah, man, these freaking meetup games are freaking amazing. Everybody drinks. Everybody has a great time. So if you ever catch yourself looking for a good action drinking game, meetup games are the ones to go. So. Anyways, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you my efforts on the next one.